Hi, I'm Jim Gordon, and you're watching Market One Minute. Joining us is Bruce Counts, the CEO and Director of LithoQuest Diamonds. Let's start with a, a general overview or synopsis of LithoQuest. Well, LithoQuest is a Canadian diamond exploration company. It was formed in 2016, went public in late 2017, and really based on really strong evidence that there are diamond-bearing kimberlites on the North Kimberley Diamond Project. And kimberlites are the primary source for diamond. So we have 100% of the project, mm -hmm. which is located in northwestern Australia. It's right on tidewater, and it's accessible by a, a seasonal road. And I've got to ask, why diamonds? Well, the, the easy answer to that is diamond deposits can be exceptionally valuable. I think a great example of that would be the Acadi Diamond Mine, which is located in the Canadian Barren Lands. So it's, it's a harsh environment. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, the Acadi went into production in 1998. And for the first few, few years of its operation, it was making $600 million a year in profit. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The second reason is that you know, global diamond resources are really diminishing. Mm -hmm. And the producers, and there are quite a few, are, are looking at the dwindling resources. And the expectation is that you know, diamond production over the next decade is going to drop pretty dramatically. The flip side of that is that very little diamond exploration has been going on for the last 10 years. And that means that there's no advanced projects for the producers really to sink their teeth into. Um, that means that you know the, the producers are becoming really aggressive in trying to find and, and acquire new assets. That means there's a whole bunch of willing partners or buyers, and we're pretty confident that our project has all the right elements that will attract one of the producing companies. What were some of the highlights uh, for LithoQuest uh, in the first year of operation? LithoQuest had a great year. In 2018, we made some really important discoveries that underpin the evidence that we have that there are diamond-bearing kimberlites on the property. Okay. First of all, we found diamonds in two different locations on the property. But perhaps the most important achievement was the discovery of kimberlite, the primary source for diamond, in our very first old program. Uh, no diamonds found or recovered in the kimberlite you found. Uh, why is this discovery still so important? That's a great question. Uh, look, kimberlites almost always occur in clusters or fields. And a cluster might be a few kimberlites or more than 100. It's common for a productive field of kimberlites to have barren bodies mm -hmm. as well as economic bodies. In fact, less than 10% of kimberlites in a productive field tend to be economic. So it's no surprise that the first kimberlite we found was barren. But as I said, kimberlites occur in clusters. So where there's one, there's almost always more. And there's abundant evidence that there are diamond bearing kimberlites on the North Kimberly Diamond Project. Can you talk to us about what's driving, will be a driving value for LithoQuest in 2019? Absolutely. Well, look, discovery drives value. Mm -hmm. So our focus will be finding more kimberlites in 2019, and more importantly, trying to vector in on the ones that have the best opportunity for being economic. We've identified nine areas on the property where there's really compelling evidence that there's a diamond bearing kimberlite present. Mm -hmm. And so our focus will be to develop and then drill test targets in each of those nine areas. Thanks for joining us today, Bruce. My pleasure.